is to come out bigger and better than you know when they when it first started. Yeah, that well. But you know, how so, about you for yourself, man? Oh. Yeah, exactly. I I set up my house for this a long time ago. I went on like a self-imposed quarantine uh, two years ago, and I just started doing deep work. I put in a home gym. I put in a basketball court. So I'm I'm set up pretty good, and I have a team here working. So it's it's not been that bad. Yeah, I know I have missed you know some of the social things that I got you know that I do and hiking and some of that stuff that I'm not able to do anymore. But other than that, you know, yeah. It, but I, I feel like it's our duty to, you know, we just got to stay at home and do our best yep. and get better through this and come out stronger, <laughs> smarter, obtain a new skill, whatever it is, right? That's our duty, right? 100%. Now. Yeah. And that's exactly how I'm looking at this too, is like, I remember when 2008 hit and a lot of people were scared and there's a lot of like craziness going on. And I mean, so many big businesses have boomed during that that yeah. last recession because you know we have nothing but to just focus on our strengths and just our, our basic skills that we could take us to you know develop the next big thing yeah well and i'll so, tell you I yeah. went through that, when i went through that recession it was it was scary right the housing uh, sure. market collapsed uh, a lot of us had things invested my company went from two and a half million in monthly recurring sales down to six hundred thousand, and we nearly went bankrupt um but now i'm leaning on what i went through during that time and so, mm -hmm. you know, to everyone out there, if you haven't gone through recession yet, don't worry, you're going through one right now. And yeah. 20 years from now, you're going to look back at it and you're going to lean on these times. These are the times that are going to make you and these are the times that are going to define you. Uh, the 2008 recession is something I'm leaning on right now, but no doubt this is going to be worse than that. That's for sure. So, you know, but there, as you said, uh, great companies are born from these types of times. And the reason why is because the competition is retracting. So big companies that were doing big things now have to lay off people. They have to cut facilities, cut contracts. They have to do all kinds of negative work, right? They're not innovating. They're not creating. They're not launching new products. They're not, you know, they're like looking in the mirror. CEOs are saying, mm -hmm. how am I going to get through another day right now? And I know that because I've been there. So if you're a starting out entrepreneur, you know, you have an opportunity right now to, to do things that other competitors can't do. Like you have nothing to lose where everybody else in the marketplace has everything to lose. A hundred percent. In fact, I mean, I think one of my businesses are one of the, the few right now that are actually flourishing right now because everything I do is all based on social media and everyone's at home on their phones. And so yeah. for me, business is you know, doing extremely well, but like I just had my buddy that had to lay off about 80% of his employees. Yeah. Yeah. They're, it, you know, it's, it's going to hit everybody. Um, but there, there's, there's yeah. no, it's certainly um, there's opportunity. And you just got to play the long game here. So, you know, the, uh, the good news is, for sure, you know, this is, this is an event that's affecting everybody in the world simultaneously. And so it's not just affecting one region. And so the goal has got to be, you know, to do the work that you can do internally. So that way, as things start to go back to normal, whenever they're in position to have more energy, more vitality and be able to do the work uh, that, you know, that, that other people can at that time. So a lot of people are wasting their time. A lot of people are, falling into fear states, alcohol consumption's up 55%. Yeah. Um, porn consumption is up. Like all <laughs> kinds of negative things are up right now. And so, all the self-destructing things are up. Yeah, yeah you, you, gotta, you gotta realize that that's where everybody's going and you do the opposite of that. You always wanna do yeah. the opposite of what everybody else is doing. Yeah. So, you know, um, and so that's, you know, right now is an opportunity to exercise restriction and to, uh, you know, and to restrict your alcohol intake or eliminate it, restrict those types of things and do the work, read the books, pick up meditation, pick up breath work, you know, work out like you never have before. Don't make the excuse like, well, I can't go to the gym, so I'm going to gain 15 pounds. It's like, I, you know, I, I was in juvenile hall when I was a kid. I would do a thousand uh, sit up push-ups and a thousand sit-ups every single day in that jail cell. Uh, and so right now, yeah, your you know, workout regimen must have been crazy. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So every day, uh, you could be doing the work right now. You have the time. Hundred percent. That's so good. What about my question to you is um, for people that you know, can take this time and get a lot of these government types of programs, either like SBA loans or a lot of different handouts. What what kind of things do you recommend for them that are kind of like maybe take be able to use this to take this as an advantage for them? Yeah. Well, if the government's handing out money, get it. And if it's yeah. low income money and the CARES program, the loans will turn into grants. Like a number of people have made fortunes off of going after government money. But what's really going to happen is 
uh, money has been redistributed. So money has been taken out of the, the United States government treasury out of the taxpayer and it's being redistributed. And so there's going to be people that figure out ways to profit from that and provide services to those who have, who have received money that perhaps they haven't otherwise. Some people are getting more money now not working than they were when they, when they were working, right? So there's opportunity out there uh, because of these programs. Did I lose you, Joey? Yeah, for some reason it like it's like stopped and then like, fast forwarded. I was like, wait, what happened? Yeah, I've seen that happen to a few of us. I think I think there's a lot of us on Instagram Live right now. <laughs> um, yeah, no, where, for sure. Yeah, where'd you lose me? Uh, right when you're saying about like people can people are actually kind of making money off of this. Yeah, yeah. Any anytime you have uh, government subsidies out there, there'll be people out there that profit from it. Um, and so, you know, there's opportunity inside those governments. Is it me or you? I don't know. I have full Wi-Fi. I think I lost him. Sorry. I think I'm you back. there. Can you hear okay. Me yeah, we're good. Is that better? Sorry about that, brother. That's okay. I went off wife and went back on. I wasn't sure if it was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I think everyone in the world right now is on utilizing live and uh, on the internet and so forth. So it's whatever it is, but I'm here to serve, man. No, for sure, man. I just appreciate your time. I've been, you know, I've been wanting to connect with you for a while. And you're someone that I've looked up to for just years. And, and, um, you know, if I if I can have the opportunity for my audience to hear more about your story, what you've come through, maybe, you know, some challenges you had and what, what made you rise to the top and even like you just like your, your daily habits, especially like right now of what you're doing, that's just helping you just on a, a you know, like your daily regimen, things like that. That's, I really want them to get to know who you are and, and just be inspired. Yeah. Awesome. So every day I start with the meditation. I have a meditation group that I lead uh, every morning. We do a, a prayer and a meditation at 9 a.m. Pacific time. I love that. Um, and that's just a foundation. Uh, prior to that, I, I wake up at between 4.30 and 5.30. I don't set an alarm clock. I wake up whenever I'm fully, you know, ready to. Uh, we just lost him. Let me see if I can get him back on here. Let me see. I might start this live over, guys, just so I can uh, get Ryan back on here. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> 